It's believed that candlestick charts date back to 16th century Japan, when rice traders used them to track the price of rice. In 1991, they began gaining popularity across the Western trading world after a book called Japanese Candlestick Charting Techniques laid out their benefits. Since then, candlesticks have become widely used by traders all over the world because of how relatively easy their visual formations make identifying buy and sell signals. To explain how, we first need to take a closer look at the different components of an individual candlestick. So let's get started. In WebBroker, candlesticks can be green or red and hollow or filled depending on the price change. When a red candlestick is filled, it means that its closing price was lower than the previous day's closing price and lower than today's opening price. When it's hollow, it means that its closing price was lower than the previous day's closing price, but higher than today's opening price. Green candlesticks follow the same formula. When a green candlestick is filled, it means that its closing price was higher than the previous day's closing price, but lower than today's opening price. When it's hollow, it means that the closing price was higher than the previous day's closing price and higher than today's opening price. It can help to visualize them in a range, going from the greatest fall to the greatest rise. The wide part of the candlestick is called the real body, and it gives us the open and close range of the day. When the candlestick is hollow, the lower limit of the real body tells us the price at which the stock opened, and the upper limit tells us the price at which it closed. When the candlestick is filled, the upper limit of the real body indicates the open and the lower limit the close. Two vertical lines at the top and the bottom of the real body represent the day's high and low prices. These lines are called shadows. The tip of the upper shadow tells us the high price of the day and the tip of the lower shadow tells us the low. Now that we've defined the components, we'll start to figure out how to string this information together to identify trends. Watch our video on single candlestick formations to learn how the different candlestick shapes can trigger buy and sell signals for traders. For more information, check out our upcoming webinars and live masterclasses on technical analysis.